Hi, this is Mark Fletcher from Gunnet, and I'm out here today with Hermi from CMH, and I'm out of his beautiful range, which is the CMH Sport Shooters Retreat. It really, if, if you are a serious shooter and you actually want to make sure that you really know what your gun is doing and, and how your bullets are performing in your gun, and you want to check your BC, you have to come and pay Hermi a visit. And the reason why I say that is, besides for having ranges where we are now at the moment, which is only the 300 meter range, really good solid structures and that where you've got a nice base to shoot from. You also have the range next door which goes out to 900 meters and Hermi has invested in a very sophisticated electronic target. And those targets Hermi are able to tell you exactly what your speed of your bullet is doing out at 900 meters, your grouping size, all electronic so you don't have and waste your time with people going forward to check their, their impact of their bullets. You've got everything on your tablet or your smart telephone and you can see exactly what your bullets are doing. So you don't have to believe what the guys tell you on the box because most of the time it's not true. Yes. You are able to actually check it yourself. Yeah, and it's nice just to check your dope for your programs and stuff to come out and see that you're shooting waterline all the time. Yeah. So it helps a lot, yeah. Brilliant. And you've got 300 meters, 600 meters, all the way out on to the, 900 meters. On the long meters. range, we've got 300, 6, 7, 8, 900 meters, yes. And then on these ranges here, you've got the 100 meters out to 300 where we are at the moment, but I see you've got a 2-2 range. And we've got a five tactical ranges at the back, and then we're starting now with the shotgun range that's going to be a universal skid range. Unbelievable. Yeah. You guys have invested a huge amount of time, money and effort here, but it will definitely pay off. Eh? Well done. So. <laughs> Besides for the beautiful facility and the magnificent gun that we're going to be shooting today, which we're going to explain in a little bit more detail, I must tell you, we couldn't have chosen a worse day to come and shoot. Besides for it being a very cold day, it really the cold front has hit Johannesburg, but unfortunately with cold fronts, you always have the wind that comes with it. So today it's very simple. It's blowing from very strong, it's gusting to extremely strong. So I think we've got... Uh, wind here must be in excess of 20 or 25 miles an hour so we shoot in a nice little six mil so it's the perfect weapon to actually a caliber <laughs> to shoot in this in these windy conditions the nice thing is that i'm not actually going to be shooting the gun harami is going to be shooting the gun so the pressure's off me the pressure's on you man harami <laughs> no it's fine yeah we'll try and do our best the wind is pumping like you say but yeah we'll see what we can do perfect and today we've got a magnificent uh, firearm to actually uh, test so this is one of our latest in the collection. So this is a Victrix Venus I-Series. So the I-Series is an I-Series that we built specifically for the South African market. And we built it with our types of shooting conditions, our shooting competitions, and, and so forth in mind. So if you go and look on the, on the Victrix website, you actually don't see this firearm. This is specific to us. And this is also thanks to your input as well. So the gun that we've got here is the Venus I-Series in 6 Creedmoor. And the nice thing about this gun is that we've taken a slightly longer barrel. So it's a cold hammer forged barrel. It is in a 1 and 8 twist. The barrel length is 26 inches. It's a brand spanking new chassis system that we have uh, got Victrix to build for us. It does come with a Picatinny rail, but it does have all the necessary uh, adjustments down at the bottom there that you can put on your uh, barrier mounts, your acro rails, whatever you would like. Hermes fitted a very nice tier one bipod here, which I'm sure you'll talk about in a, in a sec. The nice thing with the magazine, um, the magazine is a unique design. It's actually a double stack, double feed, but it's unbelievably smooth when it comes through on the firearm. So you can actually have very quick rapid fire on this. And we designed it specifically with the PRS shooter in mind. It is a 10-shot magazine. Uh, we are shooting Lepore cases, Vitavori powder, and a little Burger 109 bullet today. And you said you loaded it at 3,020 foot per second. Yeah, it's running at about 3,020 yeah, average. That's a nice speed for a little 6 mil and 109 bullet. Then also, this is a brand spanking new action that uh, Victrix has actually made. You'll see it's got an integrated Picatinny rail at 20, uh, 20 MOA. The bolt itself, very easy you've got a little spring-loaded system there it's a brand spanking new design that victrix has actually made so what's unique about this you actually see it's a six lug system but what they've done is uh, they're 120 degrees offset but they've actually cut away the center piece to actually make it the six lug so 
when you engage into your locking lugs it's an unbelievably nice smooth system um, they've also done the PVD coating on this I don't know if you remember from the previous uh, guns we spoke about in Victrix the PVD is physical vapor deposition it almost impregnates and binds with the steel which takes the steel from around about 80 rockwell up to 1800 rockwell so they talk about diamond hardness so it's a really nice smooth action and in conditions that we're shooting today where you have heavy wind and dust and grit and grime the nice thing is that this is so strong you run it 100 percent dry easy to actually use the gun is totally adjustable as well you can adjust your length of pull you can adjust the the height you can move the cheek piece forward and back and everything else so the gun is a really nice shooting platform we also built a new trigger for this we put a flat trigger the flat trigger seems to work unbelievably well with a pistol grip overall exceptional gun to shoot i haven't actually had the opportunity to shoot this firearm Hermi has been very kind to actually do all the load development and that for us so I think it's only fair that we start looking at this gun and, and putting it through its paces. But I see, Harami, besides for the beautiful firearm itself, you've got two other things that you've put on here. I'm actually very fortunate I, I own one or two of these zero compromise scopes. And in my personal opinion, I, it's the best scope that I, I've used. And tell us a little bit more about it. Yes, after zero compromise, yeah, we are privileged to be the agents in South Africa. Um, for, for this rifle scope, uh, we, we sold few, a few units already in country and all the guys are very really happy with these scopes. Um, I think the glass is very good. I think what's nice about the scope is, is, is there's a few things actually that's very nice. The first thing is th that each scope gets tested in the factory for tracking 100%. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if it's not 100%, it won't leave the factory. And then these guys guarantee uh, something out of this world. I mean, uh, if, you, if you've got a problem with your scope, the, the turnaround time on, the, on fixing it or giving you a new one is it's about three to four weeks. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, three yeah. weeks max. I mean, I had one scope that had a bit of a problem and it was back with me in 10 days. That's exceptional. I had um, so yeah, no, I think it, it, it's a great brand. I think glass-wise and, and, and technology-wise, it's, it's one of the top scopes now that you can buy. And talking about the glass, it's one of those, those scopes. You know, sometimes you get a scope where the glass is actually of a, of a certain standard that you almost battle to see some of the mirage. But this scope is absolutely amazing on my eyes. There's a few things that I really like. The fact that, listen, even without my glasses, and I'm getting to that age where glasses off and glasses on, I'm able to actually see exactly where I am very easy. You've got a nice, easy to set zero stop. So it's not a complicated system. It's really basic. It's not straightforward. Yeah. yeah. And then the glass itself, the glass is unbelievably clear, but you're still able to pick up some of the subtleties in that, in that small mirage. You can still shoot on high magnification and cut through the, a lot of that mirage, but you're still able to pick it up that you can actually start shooting off mirage instead of just yes, wind. Yes, yes. And that's, that's what makes it such a great scope. Yeah. Um, I've also got, so you've got two major scopes. You've got your, what's it, the 5 to 27, I think it is? Well, we've got three models now, actually. Okay. You've got the 4 to 20, that's the small one that's on here. Yeah. Then you've got the 5 to 27, and then you go to 8 by 40. Okay. Uh, the 8 by 40 hasn't got that much of uh, um, elevation. Uh, this, this models, these two models got 36 moles elevation. Uh, that's exceptional. The 8 by 42 has got about 28. Okay. So, so that's the only difference, but uh, yeah, the guys that's on the 8x40, they like it very much. Um, I'm, yeah, on all my rifles, I'm shooting this, this, this small scope. I like it. It's compact. It looks it's good. actually really compact. Eh? And, and, and it can do whatever big scope can do up to two kilometers. So. And I think that's the beauty about it, is that on a standard 20 MOA Picatinny, you can actually run out to 2Ks without having any sophisticated, expensive yeah, uh, system to like, clip onto like your scope. Like this rifle, we were able to shoot up to a mile. Oh, that's brilliant. Without, without old, old or anything. So. And then, Hadami, this is new to me. I haven't actually seen these new bipods. I've had a quick look at them now. Looks like a, a really nice, sturdy bipod and unbelievably light. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the new ELR bipods from Tier 1. Okay. Um, we only have, yeah, we only tested it. Ruan, Ruan tested it this weekend. He shot at uh, Fort Mistake. Okay. And he, 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 he was 
he enjoyed it very much. He said it's a very good, st steady bipod. It's solid. It's got many, many different settings. You can you can change the angles on them wherever you want to change it to. Okay. Um, and I see it's got a positive lockout as well. It's got a positive lockout. Okay. It, you set the tension on your rifle, so for your can, so you can set the preset the tension. We, what what is also very nice. So it, it's easy to get your bubble aligned and okay. get, the, get the thing to work. It can yeah, it can go out very high. It's a uh, yeah, it's actually like I said. I think it's a it's a it's a it's a very good bipod for 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 the ELI shooters and for any kind of shooting actually. Yeah, brilliant, man. So, Hermie, the the thing is, we've got a unbelievable shooting platform, coupled with an exceptional scope, exceptional bipod. We can't have ex have uh, excuses and mistakes with the window. So yeah, listen, yeah. yeah. Let's see what we can do today. Hundred percent. But thanks again for having us, Archer. It's only a You're pleasure. A good friend of uh, our brands and a good friend personally. Thanks again for having us out here. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Army, as I said, I've got the easy job today, and no excuses for the wind. We've got one of our new targets out there. Let's see what you can do at 100 meters. Let's try. Eyes and ears. How was that? Yeah, it wasn't bad. And listen, it looks like a really nice, easy platform to shoot. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's a it nice looked like a nice, rifle. crisp trigger. I can see there's almost no pressure on your fingertip there, and there's practically no recoil yeah, on the gun. Very nice to shoot, eh? Yeah. Okay, good, man. Yeah, you can have a look and see if you. Let's see. If I will pass the test. Uh, what? Okay, have me. Definitely pass the test. And these, <laughs> these weather conditions definitely pass the test. So there's no doubt the gun can shoot. Yeah, it can shoot. Yeah. The shooter can shoot as well, yeah. but the gun can definitely shoot. That's only luck, huh? <laughs> Brilliant. So let's go and test it now. Let's see what sort of distance we can get to in these yes. winds and get a half decent uh, grouping. Yes. Seeing you've got 900 meters, I don't see why we must mess around with the short stuff. Let's put it onto some metal and then let's see what type of grouping we can get on that metal. 100%. Cool. So Henry, it's even more tricky now because I think the wind's picked up to the better part of 35, 40 kilometers an hour. And with the booms, it's coming over the boom. So let's see what, what you can do with a little six mil in, in nice weather conditions. I've got faith in you. Thank you. <laughs> That's actually not bad, Army. That's just just up of uh, left of center. Let's see. Okay. Almost identical, just a little bit higher up. Yeah. That's actually an unbelievable grouping in this condition, Army. Okay. Just to the right. That that you can feel the wind picking up there, Hermie. Yeah, but yeah, yes. You're probably at just a, a couple of inches to the right, but a, a grouping is unbelievable. You make it look too easy, Hermie. You come and have it there. Let me have a bash. It's a tough act to follow, Hermie. It's off the plate. Okay. Impact. 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 Impact! Unbelievable, Army. 
In this and wind? The, yeah, in this wind. And it really is, it is terrible wind. I would have liked if we had a kestrel to actually measure the wind, but it's... And you've got the mirage as well. Yeah. That thing is, is running, you can see it. And still to try and get that type of grouping in, a, crazy, in huh? this type of wind With is... a six millimeter rifle. Man, Hermi, you know your stuff, eh? Yeah. Besides for good guns and that and the good <laughs> components, it's also the person that reloads for them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, I think as a company, because we're involved in sport shooting and in competition shooting, I think we, we've got a big knowledge yeah. on reloading and, and how to do the reloading. So Hermi, as I said, good shooter, good platform, and then really try in conditions. I think this is unbelievable shooting for 900 meters. Think, well done, man. I think we had a lot of luck as well. So I don't know. I think anybody, even th the bigger 30 cals, maybe the PRCs and that would be happy with a grouping like that at, at uh, 900. For sure. So a really nice little gun. Uh, the six Creedmoor on the Victrix Venus I series. Coupled with uh, good components, zero optic scopes, good bipods. And then the bullets, Le Pour, Vitavori powder and Berger points 109s. You can really achieve exceptionally good things in, in tough weather conditions. Yes, I think so. Army has been an absolute pleasure. Thanks again for all your time, your kind hospitality. Really, if you're a serious shooter, this is a place that you need to come in to make sure that you actually understand your gun. Also allows you, the distances allows you to shoot in really different weather conditions and you learn about the wind. For so, sure. So as we mentioned earlier, you know, if you're a serious shooter and you really want to know what your gun does specifically to your, your bullets, your powder and everything else, and also to double check exactly what your BC is on your bullet, not what the manufacturer more than likely misled you on the packet. Everybody, I see them on a regular basis in the shops there and they go, eeny, meeny, miny, okay, highest BC. But it's not necessarily the case. You know, that, no. Those BCs are not necessarily... 100% true. There's a lot of stuff that, that makes BC happen. I mean, rifle twist, speed, all of that exactly. combines to give you BC. So, so Hermie, these very fancy things here, they look like a, a Star Wars type thing. I see you've invested a lot of money in them. Explain a bit to, the, bit to us as the, the novice okay, this shooter. Is, this is our normal Bisley targets that we shoot. Um, the target that's on here at this stage. So this is a 900 center. So that's what we shoot from seven up to 900 meters. The V-Bull, that's the stripe the small stripe little. circle, that's 128 millimeters. Okay. And then your five ring is about 250, the bigger one. So that's what you're aiming for at 900 meters, basically. But this very special equipment here, I see you've got all the necessary. This yeah. actually transmits back to your yes. telephone so or what, your so tablet. So what it does is it, it, it's got eight microphones. At each corner, corner you've got two microphones. Okay. So the, the biggest thing is the bullet must be supersonic when it reaches the target. So you must be at about 1,240 and up for it to be able to, to, to read the sound. So what it does, it, it, it takes the bang of the bullet when it passes past and it, and it calculates where the bullet went through. Brilliant. As, as well as between the two mics, front and back, detects the speed. So it works out, it gives you the target speed, what, what your bullet hit the target with. Yeah. So even though you're 900 meters downrange, you'll know exactly what speed, speed you go you through. Yeah. The, you have to speed you go through the target. And then on your a smart telephone so, or so your tablet, does, you'll it, actually see exactly where it, it impacted. Wor it works with Wi-Fi, so it's instantly. So if you shoot, it will, it will show you a little cross where you shot and a mark. Okay. Shot one, shot two, shot three, shot four, whatever. Yeah. So if, if somebody would like to come out to CMH Sports Shooting Retreat, how do they go about it? Okay, for the, for the, for the long range, they have to phone us to, 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 to just make a booking on, on the long range. The other ranges are open all, all day from, from 8 to 5 and weekends on Sunday from 9 to 3. Brilliant. Uh, the long range, like I said, they have to phone, but yeah, we take bookings, one, two, three guys that wants to check their dope and stuff, we, we do it a lot. Brilliant. And they can shoot on this long range here? Yes. From these various mounds? Yeah, we've got a 300, 600, 7, 8 and 900 meter mount here. Perfect. And they can, they can see exactly, they can take, yeah. take advantage of this yeah, unbelievable what technology. What it helps is, is, is you, can, you can come out and check your dope. You know, all of us always, we, we think about our programs, is it 100% correct? Is it not correct? This is the ideal place to check it. So yeah. you can put in your dope for 600, lie down, shoot and see 
where's your water line? See if it gives you water line. Yeah. And right back to 900 meters. Um, and, and that helps a lot. And listen, judging by the concentration of impact here in the center, I see you have a lot of good shooters. There's a couple out here on the white, but almost everything is center, <laughs> center mass hold. Yeah, this, yeah, if you get shot like this, it means there was very bad wind um, for, the, for the Bisley guys. Or the squishy person pulling the trigger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sometimes that as well, yeah. Yeah, brilliant. But, Ad yeah. Adami, thanks a lot for your kind hospitality. It's great to come out to a venue like this and really, Guys, if you're a keen shooter, come out and, and take advantage of this technology. You know, this, this allows you to improve significantly. It also gives you the, the benefit and the confidence that you know exactly what your bullet is doing at specific distances, especially if you're out there trying to take those longer shots on whatever target you, you, you're aiming at. For sure. And Adam, it's only a pleasure having you guys here. Adam, thanks again, man. Thank you very much. Cool.